Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm answering one of the most asked questions. Now you started open source in you know with contributing to like uh, Kubernetes clients and stuff like that, Red Hat middleware projects, such big big projects being used by so many folks and companies around the world and as a freshman you were able to contribute you know to some really large projects. How did you do it? So the question that I get asked a lot is how do you understand a large code base? Okay, let me show you the first project I contributed, first big project I contributed to, this is the one. Okay, Fabricate IO Kubernetes Java Client by JBoss Community, Red Hat Middleware. It's a Java client for Kubernetes and OpenShift. So you can see it's a pretty big project. Okay, lots of stars, lots of folks, and lots of uh, you know like issues over there, and so many folders and files, and so many like uh, as a beginner, if you look at it, you will be pretty overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed as well, and yeah, you can see the README file itself is a little bit overwhelming, as you can see. But I was able to contribute to this on a really good scale, adding new features and everything uh, as a freshman. And I was not an expert. I only knew like Java and a little bit of Maven and something. I learned everything on the go. But in this video, I'll share with you how I did it. And I'll share with you some tips. And I'll share with you how do you understand such large code bases as beginners. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to give uh, a shout out to is like uh, of obviously Git and GitHub knowledge is pretty important. So I've created a video on that. Uh, you can check it out in the in the description. By the way, all the resources that I share in this video, you can check out in the description. And uh, I've also made a video on how to find good first issues, some tips on it. You can also find that in the description. Um, you can also check out the My Experiences playlist on YouTube. You will find most of the content over there related to open source. And uh, we also like uh, we are also running an event with the Twilio Quest, which is known as like uh, Twilio Quest is basically a PC role playing game uh, that you can use uh, you know, to play and uh, progress towards various uh, tutorials. So they have a lot of missions like JavaScript and Python and APIs. And one of those is forest of open source. So basically this is what the, you know, dashboard and like the gaming platform looks like. Uh, so you can see you are facing some obstacles and in order to clear the obstacles, you have to solve some challenges. Now these challenges are basically tutorials. So the forest of open source is the one and the JavaScript one are the ones that we are currently running. So you can see I've also made a video on this. You can go to the announcements playlist or you can just search this uh, I'll basically leave this in the link in the description as well so that you can start it out you can join the leaderboard and we have some exciting prizes like KCNA vouchers worth 300 bucks and uh, like one-on-one -on -one personal career mentorship sessions as well so this particular uh, mission and scenario and game will help you in uh, getting started with open source teach you all the best practices and how to contribute to you know open source projects using git and github and so on and so forth and how to use all these amazing technologies so you can download Twilio Quest and a detailed uh, walkthrough of this is given in my video cool um all the things that I did like in my freshman year uh, uh, you know as a GSOC label I, I was a GSOC student so you can find it over here in this particular repository if I just go to pull requests and I go to the uh, is PR and author Kunal and these are all the closed I closed around 25 pull requests let's see the very first one so the very first one was the one that was merged let's see I can't believe I made like two pull PRs <laughs> You can make one PR and make changes to it. I was a little bit of a beginner, but uh, I remember community helped me quite a lot. So this was my first contribution. I just made some documentation changes and just replaced this method with this new method. That's it. Okay. That is it. Cool. So after that, I started with adding some test cases, some examples. So that is what I always recommend. Try to check out the test cases. Some of the resources in Kubernetes client were missing test coverage. So I added test coverage for this. So pretty straightforward stuff. Um, obviously a little bit hard work is required. I know it looks like a lot, but a little bit hard work is required. Like, but test cases are pretty straightforward. So it's not that difficult. Adding just examples. So namespace quota, how do you use it? I just added an example for that. That's it. The main contributions came over here. I literally added support for these things. Template instance, service catalog, subject access, uh, self-subject access review, su 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 uh, subject rules review, uh, controller revision, uh, migrating the test cases from JUnit 4 to JUnit 5. These are the main main things like actually adding like, you know, 1000 lines of changes, 10,000 uh, line ch file line changes or something like that. So literally adding of support for a new feature was like a pretty big accomplishment for me as well. That's a lot of code. <laughs> I have worked way too hard. This is the reason I get reached out by jobs and opportunities a lot. Uh, you can do it as well. Um, 
it's it's nothing like uh, extraordinary or anything i mean it is for you it sh you should always like aim higher uh, but you should always be like uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't be sur surprised of your uh, of your uh, can't believe i didn't indent this indent this never mind <laughs> uh, you shouldn't be surprised of your um, you know achievements like of your hard work if you ha if you work hard you will you will achieve a lot of a lot of amazing things okay so that is basically what i would recommend uh, but the qu real question is how do you understand large code bases uh, opening up this thing uh, so as i mentioned right now how i started right so the thing is you don't have to understand how the, every single file works in uh, in these uh, you know folders just have a basic understanding of things are working above uh, you can check out the test cases for that test cases are a great way to understand how things are working like uh, internally and stuff before actually contributing try to use the project try to set it up on a local system build the project run all the test cases locally so on and so forth these are a few nice pointers so to answer your question how do we understand large code base well you don't have to understand the entire code base the video that i made on finding good first issues most of these issues are divided into like modules and packages so most of the time you have to focus on that only but uh, if you have any doubts you can definitely ask the project maintainers in the channels that is pretty much about it uh, there is no shortcut and uh, please don't be disappointed because i'm not here to give you false motivation i'm here to let you face the reality you would have to work hard it's not going to happen overnight the video was about how to understand large code bases and you don't have to uh, you can under you will have you will understand large code bases on the go it's not like before contributing you have to go through every single file of this project i haven't even done that but as you can see i was able to make so many amazing prs around 25 closed okay so uh, all these things that i have mentioned and everything right uh try to check it out on your local system and if you get stuck ask it in the public repository public uh, public channels and that's pretty much about it as you start contributing as you can see i started contributing really small and then it sort of like progressed that's how you become an open source contributor that's how you understand large code bases that's how you progress towards being a contributor then a maintainer and so on and so forth make sure like share and subscribe and check out the links in the description for resources and i'll see you in the next one thanks a lot for watching have a great day